Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. My name is Harish Kumar. Today in this video, we are going to talk about another very important function of JavaScript array. It is called array prototype reduce. The array reduce method in JavaScript is used to reduce the array to a single value. That single value can be a number, string, object, it can be anything. The reduce method was introduced in ECMAScript version 5 and it is supported in all modern browsers. This reduce method calls the callback function or you can say a reducer function for every element in the array. The reducer function returns a value which is an accumulated result and this result is provided as an argument in the next call to the reducer function. I know it sounds little confusing and little difficult to understand. The concept of reduce method is not very complex, but the method is just little different from other JavaScript array methods that we are used to. Let's see its syntax. Its syntax is array.reduce and then in this reduce method it accepts callback function and this callback function accepts accumulator, current value, index and array. If you have watched the previous videos on JavaScript array methods, then you are familiar with these parameters. The current value is the array element of this array, index is the index of these array elements and array is this given array. And this accumulator is new thing here. And in the other JavaScript array method, in the second argument, we used to pass this arg to bind this context in the callback function body. But that is different in case of reduce method. Here the second argument is initial value of this accumulator. The accumulator represents a carry value it contains whatever was written last time the reducer function was called. If this reducer function has not been called yet, then this accumulator contains the initial value passed in the second argument. And in the end, it returns a single value. Now let's see its example. Now let's say we have a array of numbers and we want the sum of these numbers. So first let's implement this using old ways with the for loop. So first we will initialize a variable. So let sum and its initial value is 0 and then here we will say for loop const value of array this variable and then here I'll say sum is equal to sum plus value like this. And now we can console log sum. And here we have 21, the sum of these numbers. Now let's implement this using JavaScript reduce method. So here I'll say array this variable dot reduce and then we will pass callback function. And this callback function is going to accept accumulator and current value. So let's copy this and paste it here and next here I'll return accumulator plus current value and in the second argument I will initialize the initial value of this accumulator and that is 0. This reduce method going to return a sum value so const result is equal to this array reduce and console log result. And here we go, we get the 21 result. Here this accumulator is exactly same as this sum variable. We have initialized the initial value of this accumulator in the second argument right here. To better understand how it calculated this result, let's console log accumulator and current value. So console log and And for the first time when this callback function executed, the initial value of this accumulator is 0, which is passed right here in the second argument. 
we can pass any number here if i pass 10 you will see the initial value of accumulator is 10 let's change to 0 so here initial value is 0 and the first element of the array is 1 so 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 and in the next call of this reducer function it has passed this 1 in this accumulator so 1 and the second element of this array is 2 so 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 and in the next call the value of accumulator is 3 and so on and the final result is 21 i hope it was easy to understand now what if we do not provide initial value right here in that case the value of this accumulator is going to be the first element of this array in that case it is going to be 1 and then this reducer function going to skip the first array element and going to start from this second array element let's see so let's remove this 0 and you will see the first array element is 1 and the current value is going to be 2 this second array element and we get final result 21 now at this point we have only considered using reduce for numbers it has very flexible use cases and it can return any type of value you could return object array string or whatever else you can come up with so let's see one more example so let's say you have a array of product in shopping cart and you want to calculate total price for these products so let's say const products is equal to array and it has a object of product so let's say product name is product a price let's say any random value 100 and let's duplicate this product and product b let's say product price is 150 and product c product price is 200 now we want to calculate the total price so let's say const total is equal to products this products variable dot reduce and then we'll pass callback function and this callback function going to accept accumulator or you can say total price and current value or we can say product now we will initialize the total price in the second argument that is going to be zero and next return total price plus now this product is a single object so here i'll say product dot price and now let's console out this total and here we go we get total price 450 as i earlier said if we do not provide the initial value in that case the accumulator value is going to be the first array element so in that case the total price is going to be the this object so if we remove this initial value here we will get incorrect price let's see so if i remove this you will see the total is object and then some numbers so if i console of this total price and you will see that the initial total price value is this object so in that case it is important to pass initial value right here and now we get the correct price 450 we can also make this short as well like this this is all in this video i hope you enjoyed it if you like the video hit the like button share this video and don't forget to subscribe us see you in the next lesson Thank mm -hmm. you.